Hey everybody, we're back. If you're new, thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon. Click that subscribe button, please. And if you're not new, then thank you so much for coming back. Today we have something new. It is the new Too Faced Cinnamon Bear Limited Edition Eye, Cheek, and Lip Makeup Collection. My husband ordered the entire collection. It just comes um, in this box and it comes with a bag comes just like this and it's inside the box and then inside the bag it kind of has like a gummy texture to it almost um, cute little embellishment here on the zipper it says Too Faced on the front and then there's little imprints of gummy bears in there it does come with a lipstick this lipstick is melted matte liquefied long wear lipstick in exclusive cinnamon bear shade so that's this, that is the lipstick that I have on today. And then it also comes with this palette. The palette is cute. This almost feels like a gummy texture. It's raised up, you can push it and feel like the air kind of in there. And then inside the palette, you have a little gummy bear by the mirror. And then you actually have the palette. You have eight shades and you also have a blush right here. I did do this makeup look with this palette i used four of the eyeshadows and i used the blush but i also used a little bit of bronzer um this shows up very well very very well so let's go ahead get into the swatches and everything and i'll give you my opinion not that you really care about my opinion but i'm gonna give it to you anyway so let's jump into it i really really do like this but i'm not sure how much this palette costs i really do like it but i'm not sure how much it costs because my husband did order it and it came in last night and i was super excited but i will say before i start the swatches i kind of felt like this palette would be a little bit larger it's not that big what do i have to compare it to um I feel like this is this is a palette a lot of people have. They're about the same size. This is just a little bit taller and it's not as wide. Um, I expected it to be a little bit bigger. I don't know why, I just, I just did. But let's jump into the swatches. If you didn't see, I just uploaded a video on um, the mini gingerbread and the mini salted caramel. Check that out. Let's let's get into it, people. So you have cereal milk, slow burn, sweet and spicy, and then chocolate dipped in the top row there. I did use cereal milk on my brow bone. I was scared that it would be a little bit too pink for me, but it actually turned out really nice. I didn't use anything else in the top row. So I don't know how the quality is on the rest of them, but they feel really, really creamy. So that's that. Wow. Mama Likey, look at that. So nice. Let me just touch those last two up. Not the last two, the first one and the last one. Really nice, I like this. They're smooth, they're so smooth, so creamy. And then the next row, you have cinnamon sugar, red hots, a uh, pop of chili, and bear hug. I used bear hug as like a transition blending type of shade. And then I used red hots on the outer corner in my crease and my uh, lash line. And then right in here in the inner corners, I went in with um, cinnamon and sugar. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I was really apprehensive about using this Red Hots because I felt like I've reached an age where I just, I only use neutrals and I was like, what are you doing? Are you really gonna try this? And I did it and let me tell you, I don't know if y'all if like my overall look, but I love it. I'm so glad that I stepped outside of the box and tried this, that just, just doing that, I feel so good about myself like I feel like my makeup is like yes bitch that shit is on point like that's how good I feel after I finished using this palette so just for that I would say recommend let's go ahead and get into the swatches though okay so these are the swatches let's see how they look so nice so nice I feel like this last color what is this bear hug um it had more of a pink tint to it like I was kind of surprised when I put it on my, um, when I put it on my eyelids, but 
I'm really, y'all, uh, this, I was really scared to use this Red Hot, but it just came out really, really nice. It doesn't look like I'm 36 and trying to look 23. I feel like this just looks good on me. So I'm really happy with the look. Go ahead and swatch the blush. Now, I like the blush. I try to kind of stay away from those shimmery blushes just because my pores are really big and... I just kind of like matte and just a little pop. I did use a uh, Charlotte Tilbury bronzer just because I love that bronzer. And then I put the blush, um, I blended it all the way up and then a little on the side here. I like it, you get a good bit of, you get a good bit of blush. Now, y'all know I always talk about whether or not this is travel worthy. I don't know. I I would I probably honestly would not grab this if I was going on a trip just because you can do a number of different looks, but I probably would only stick to using those tan neutral kind of colors. So I'd probably grab something else. So I wouldn't say this is trip worthy because this blush is definitely not something I would use every day either. But this is, I think, a very, very nice palette. I will keep this. I will not let my daughter mess with it. If you've seen any of our BoxyCharm videos, you know that she um, she will destroy some makeup. She loves it. She loves it. But she will definitely destroy some makeup. So I won't be letting her touch this. See, it kind of has, not metallic, but it's got a shimmer to it. And like I said, I try to stay away from those shimmers most of the time. A lot of times I barely even use blush. I'm more of just like a bronzer. Well, y'all know I'm not, I don't normally do this much makeup anyway so but all in all love the palette loving all of these colors the quality is normal to face quality let's go ahead and swatch the lipstick y'all let me tell you <laughs> i'm not a red lipstick person i'm more of a neutral like my go-to is this pillow talk from charlotte tilbury it's kind of like a sheer glossy one because i have really dark lips so this kind of just makes just accentuates my lips. I normally stick to that. And then with the virus, we're in California, you have to wear a mask. So it's like, what's the point of wearing lipstick anyway? But when I opened this up and I was just like, oh God, I don't know if I want to put this on and film a video because I feel like I might look stupid. And then like, I was standing in here, I was putting it on. I said, let me go to the bathroom because I started to really, really, really like it, y'all. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. Do you think this color looks good on me, this shade? Because this is definitely not a shade that I would ever buy in the store, ever. But I really think it looks pretty on me. If you don't think it looks pretty on me, don't leave a comment. Because someone left a not-so-nice comment on my Too Faced video with the mini palettes. And I'll be honest. I don't really listen to what people say when they say negative things. But I don't like it either. So please don't do that. Okay, it's not nice. If you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say anything at all. How about that? Look, let's just zoom in here. Don't want to show you my ashy elbows, but look at this. I mean, it's just, it's just a beautiful palette. It's honestly just, it's just a nice palette. Okay, this was just a quick video. I just wanted to show y'all really quickly because. I love the look. I love it. I feel so like I should take some pictures of myself in this room or something because I just love this look so much. So I would highly, highly recommend it. Even if you're older, in your 30s or older than that, and you stick to those neutrals, I would still say that this palette could work for you. And it's limited edition, so you don't want to not get it and then want it later and not be able to get it or have to pay an arm and a leg for it because that would totally suck. But I will link it below along with my social media and everything. It would be great if you would follow me, subscribe, all of that. I've started a Pinterest. I've had a Pinterest. I'm just now like getting into it. It is linked below, but I am putting like different makeup things and stuff on my Pinterest. I have like four followers. <laughs> One of them is my house account. So it would be nice if y'all would follow me there too. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped y'all. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, click the bell, and all those good things. Bye!